Gemini, this week is gonna keep getting better and better, like progressively better for you. We're gonna go into the astrology, we'll go over the current situation, we'll see what comes out for the past, which will always have something to do with the current situation. And then we'll get into predictive. Gemini, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Row. It is an energy reading, so you apply it to where it resonates in your life. It's your reading. Um, there's always an extended reading that I hope you guys will join me for, and that link is down below. And please wait to the end of the reading because I do have a special announcement that I'm really excited to share with you. Oh, Gemini, okay, so. Why am I psyched about the astrology? Well, the astrology is going from basically being around this full moon where everything is squared and in opposition um, to where everything is trying and sextile. And that is starting to happen for you now. The world is starting to open up for Mercury. Not only is it in the last degrees of Scorpio, by the end of the week, it will have slipped into Sagittarius, which is a much more free, fun, and playful place for it to be. Um, get your foreign language on, man. Oh, yeah. Get your Rosetta Stone on. Um, no, but like talking to and speaking to and learning different uh, foreign languages, that's really good when Mercury is in Sagittarius. Really fun stuff. Or talking to a foreigner. Mm, okay. Um, you know I'm nosy, so please do comment below because I definitely want to know. Um... And then there's something better that happens is that Mercury is conjunct Venus at that point. And Mercury is, is getting closer to Venus as we speak. And so it's in a loose conjunction already. And then it'll be in a tight conjunction. And Mercury conjunct Venus, uh, pff, bitch please. There's nothing that you won't be able to convince somebody of and you will be extremely attractive. And people will be like, hot damn, Gemini. And you'll be like, what, I just woke up. And it won't matter because you'll be sexy as hell. Appealing? I think so. You'll just have a way of putting things that is extremely enticing. And this is kind of natural for you anyway, but like volumize that. So great things, but even better. Okay, so it keeps, it keeps getting better. Um, in the beginning of this week, Neptune is trying to Mercury. And what that means is this a great, it's almost like it's almost like taking the power from the ether and being able to easily translate it into real the real world. So what does that mean? It's a great time for ingenuity, it's a great time for creativity, it's a great time to allow yourself to be, and I think you'll naturally be popping off that way. Um, so it's just a great time <clears throat> to be productive in terms of inventing things, creating things, and not, it's not just manifesting things, it's that you'll have such great ideas. Neptune always, with, with Neptune trines, it always means kind of peacefulness too. Um, and it also means, especially with Mercury, oh, I love Neptune trine Mercury. Music, babies, music compose something you know what I'm saying like I, I I can't imagine you not craving music around this time or if you are so inclined like starting to compose music it's that kind of energy where you're just like creating musically you're using science you're using logic to tap into the eternal and that's that's music so um, definitely get your favorite songs on um, I can see by the end of the week you're almost going to be serenading somebody um, or your voice will sound like music to their ears. Um, and then we have this, this, yeah, we have this sextile to Pluto too. I believe that's happening with Mercury and Venus as well. And that just intensifies everything and it, it, it almost heightens the primal, it's almost like you're a big ass magnet this week and people won't be able to resist you. Use it! Use it, uh, work at, have fun with it, enjoy. Anytime there's a conjunction to um, Venus, like let yourself be, pl like pleasure, 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 pleasure. Hold on, let's get into the cards. We have think on your feet, but it's in reverse, which usually means being stuck or, so right now, feeling stuck, and that makes sense. <laughs> because right now, you're still, uh, Mercury is still in an opposition to Uranus, and uh, I think there's still squares to Saturn. And the beautiful thing is the squares to Saturn are starting to dissipate throughout the week too, so that won't last. But there is maybe somebody hard-headed that you're dealing with, somebody who is inflexible, or it's just saying, hey, 
You have not stepped outside of your comfort zone enough, Gemini. You really have to get out of town. Like how many years has it been since you've been on a vacation or been allowed yourself to go someplace that you've never been before? Um, yeah, this is kind of like a, a sense of you've been stuck in your own little corner of the world too long. Uh, see the big picture. Word, the two, these two coming out are just the perfect message for you. Because it's a sense of where you have been stuck, suddenly the world opens up and maybe financial opportunities as well because this represents Taurus. It's looking beyond the obvious. That's what it's asking you to do. Look beyond, you know, what you've gotten good at, what you're comfortable at. Insights outside of, and this will just come to you. This won't be something that you have to reach for, strive for, look for. It won't be that way. Um, hold on a second. We have a dream the world into being. You're, be, you're going to be very creative. That's what it is. I told you about that, that um, Neptune interaction, right? Oh, God, this is such great energy. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. And it's also good news. I can put the past behind me. The past is over with. Like, let the dead be dead. And that is scorpionic energy. That sense of really being able to get a catharsis and an ending. Um, digging up shit. It's like digging up shit, but why? Why would you dig it up? To do something with it. To get rid of it. To know how to use it for the future. That's that kind of ingenuity that you're blessed with this week. Um, putting the past behind you by making it not exist anymore. By making it be something else. Right? Um, spirit has a plan. So this is a little bit of fate and destiny. Slow and steady wins the race. You won't have to rush and you won't want to. I also see you on like a tropical island somewhere, going somewhere. But it also means just go with the flow. Slow and steady wins the race. This is Cancerian energy. Take your time. Maybe spending some time with your family. Um, but there is just this sense of now you feel like, wow, I don't have to rush. Wow, I'm, I don't have to yeah you don't there's just so much peace here I know I'm happy for you but I'm also like but what's the nitty gritty maybe there is no nitty gritty maybe that's the point maybe this is your time to relax rest and unravel because the past few weeks have been so really difficult and stuff has been coming up that you didn't want to address or conf and you have and you have and we've all been going through it knight of pentacles is something is moving very slowly okay hold on now we have three cards there's there's a story here we have three cards that are indicating something has been stuck growth has been stuck okay i just heard this the growth has been stuck in order for you to grow in other words the progress has been stuck or you're feeling that sense of stuckness because it was for your growth, you were stopped by spirit. It spirit was the one that slowed things down. You had a great deal of enthusiasm for something, but maybe not enough money for it. It was still going to take time and work. In other words, you got the passion, but you don't got the know-how. It doesn't necessarily mean a job or even a vocation. It could have even been a relationship. Things started really fast and really quickly, maybe too fast. Slow it the fuck down. Mars is in retrograde after all. It's really essential now to slow things down and take things slow and just let them. It's like find ways to enjoy this situation without it having to fly by you. What is this situation? Ten of Swords. Oh, there was a really bad ending. There was a really tough ending. There was something that really hurt you a lot of suffering and it's like slow down it's almost like a feeling of i want to slow this moment down because i want it to last forever i don't want it to ever end that's what i got i don't want it to ever end so that's something to remember this is a really important time to get your memory on and take stock of these good times because this is the kind of stuff that you're never going to want to end. But what does Ten of Swords coming out mean? We have Two of Pentacles again, choosing between or trying. It's almost like trying to figuring out 
how to handle the changes that are in your life. And maybe you've been slowing down or delaying something because you want to avoid having something end. Could be that you're on vacation and you don't ever want it to end or you know the end is coming and I'll get deeper into that because there's an ending coming 100%. Um, you know an ending is coming and you're trying to slow things down intentionally or somebody is so that if you're with somebody and the, there's been like there's been like delays in the whatever in the um, in the relationship they're intentionally stalling because they know it's over is something you can feel the ending I still feel peace here because there's been a lot of stress, but it's like the end is near and that's why somebody's slowing down and stalling. And then you, you also have the cocoon. This is more waiting, 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 being hung up, nine of pentacles, being single, maybe feeling like you've been stuck by yourself for a while or you're waiting for money to come into you. It's saying, what about the wait? What about the wait? Let's show the cards. I want to, I want to share the cards with you. What about the wait? Okay. So when does this waiting end? And do they even want it to end? The high priestess is here. It's saying divine timing. And there is a loss of finances here. But the world is changing. Hold on. Hold on. But when? This is new moon. Scorpio. There's a new moon coming in Sagittarius season. That could be the time frame. Okay, so we have a little bit of what's coming into the future. And here's the timeline. We have a new moon coming in, on, in Sagittarius. It's coming on November 23rd, and that's a very beautiful moon. Um, in fact, both Venus and Mercury will be in Sagittarius at that time. So this is, this is telling you what the time frame is. There is a loss of finances or, or worried about it, worried about money that you've been waiting on and it hasn't come in. Um, but it's but universe is saying to you don't worry about it you're going to get a second chance there is a resurrective quality here that the hard times in scorpio have have allowed you to resurrect and move forward um from these difficult situations there's somebody that's coming into your life that is going to help maybe be be very loving to you take care of you this is also a mother maybe a mother figure maybe she is a scorpio but there's defensiveness here of course somebody's holding back some goods for you somebody's holding back goods because they want to keep you the fuck around especially if somebody is holding money over your head now, why is this situation coming up? Because this is a situation that's set to, um, well, th that, that's, that's front and center this week. And it's saying, be defensive about anybody's gifts and be suspicious because it seems like somebody is trying to hold something over your head to slow things down and keep you around. Now, it may not be, hold on, let me face you for this one. It may not be, Gemini, that this person is evil or horrible. When, when I saw these cards, I thought of a mother, like um, hemming and hawing or holding the mail back just to let you not, like, to, to keep, keep your college acceptance letter from you type of thing. There's a sense of, yes, somebody is afraid of this change. There's an energy of fearing change. Now, the somebody might be you, but it's definitely a sense of there's money hanging over your head in order to slow you the fuck down. And this person is offering love because they want to keep you with them. They want to keep you around them. But you feel it. You feel like, I don't trust your love. I don't trust what you're offering. 
don't trust what they're offering because they are doing it because they want to keep you around and on the other side of it is total freedom for you another interpretation for this energy is that somebody doesn't want to accept gifts and kindness because it's hard for them because they've had really bad experiences before, especially with somebody who is extremely greedy and extremely about money. So they've been very, very slow and hesitant to move forward, um, even, even in the face of kindness and goodness and sweetness and sincerity. That just has to, and, and that just has to work itself out. Gemini, in that case, just take things slow, or they're going to have to accept that you want to take things slow. That's it. Oh, we got to pull a moon card. Word. What does the moon have to tell us? Gemini, you and your loved ones are safe. Emotional, emo, okay, so we have super moon. Emotions are running high. This is coming in from the full moon. Emotions are running high. So in other words, there's still emotions that people are dealing with from the full moon. It kind of opened up the floodgates. And now somebody is still trying to churn and burn them and deal with all of that deal with all of the things that they had been trying to hold back and they didn't want to and it could be good things it could be good emotions but the moon was so much and so overwhelming um could be a scorpio could also be i don't know an air sign this is a sense of having to embrace one's emotions I think a lot happened and this was very very emotional and maybe you just need a pause something has been too much for you or somebody is holding back and they're they don't want you to move forward they want you to wait for them or they want you to be stuck with them because they do have hope that they're going to be able to get through this it's almost like they need you to pull them forward you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer this is maternal energy family energy so take it for what it's worth this is a mother figure or somebody who has children it's either your mother figure or somebody who has children but the, del the delay is happening because they don't want to let go of something or they're afraid to love or you're afraid to let them love you weird you let me know please do in the comments below because I am definitely interested in how this is playing out. Gemini. Should they even be in this situation? King of Swords. Oh, King of Wands. No, this is a fire sign male who is front and center, taking charge, taking control. This is somebody who's a creative genius. So that's what's happening right now. So there's a lot of inspiration and creative genius floating around here. Ah, somebody is celebrating you. Wait, hold on a second. You may get a job offer, something to celebrate because somebody has noticed a great deal of gifts of yours. Being around friends, passionate or oh this is somebody who may or may not have had many many partners maybe even been in like a triangle situation a lover's triangle situation king of wands and three of cups i do believe people are going to be celebrating your creative achievements or in terms of your creative life and what you're creating in your life, not your life like your love life, but like if you're working on a project, entrepreneurship, that kind of creation, um, people are going to be celebrating you. Yeah, you, you've definitely taken charge and created a circumstance, a situation, a project that people are like all on board for. Yeah, you're taking control. This is almost like a coup. What is going on? This is like a coup because the emperor is here, which means total control, dominion, but like authority, 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 king of swords. It's almost like you're before a board. 
people are judging you, looking at you, seeing you, seeing how, how it's like you've been bought to the attention of very powerful people. Because we have three of cups here, we have a trifecta, and then we had three rulers pop out. You're being bought before authorities of some sort to be celebrated. Or you're looking to, in other words, what this is saying to me, Gemini, this is a fantastic week for you to network with authority figures, superiors, or people who got that money and can make shit happen for you because they are definitely going to notice you, see you, want you, and be really, really impressed with what you have to offer. Let's go to the extended because I wanna see how this is playing out in the individual aspects of your life. Before you push that link below in the description box or pinned to the top of the comment section, let me make my happy announcement, Gemini, to celebrate us and the victories of Born Without Boundaries, I am having my first ever meet and greet. It is going to be in March of 2023. It is going to be in Austin, Texas, USA. And there will be two ways to partake. You can either actually be there live. It'll be a three hour event that will include a full sound bath experience for an hour, a half, hour and a half of healing, cleansing, meditation, and realignment and then meet and greet and food and drink and enjoyment. Um, so you can actually be there or two, it'll be a virtual experience as well. I will be live streaming it with a chat. So there's many different ways to participate. I am going to create a poll at the end of this week. I'm going to, I'm going to put it to the, I'm going to pin it on the community tab. I'm just, I just want to round a, a, a little like a, a, a ballpark figure of who's interested in what. So look out for that poll. Um, and I'll say live or virtual. And I wanna just get a ballpark of who's interested. So I know how big of a space that I have to um, reserve, etc., etc. So I hope that you will be able to be there and share in that abundance with me as you have helped this channel grow immensely and I'm so grateful remember the link to the extended is below and I do hope you come to join me because we still got to understand where all the success is playing out hold on